Hello, Agenda Queer Chat viewers. It is Wednesday. I'm Christina, and the topic this week, as uh, as last week, I picked the topic this week, and I decided we should make some sort of piece of art to describe our gender identity. And I forgot to write, um, especially if it's short, then you should explain it. Um, so, uh, because mine is short, and I just wrote this up in literally the last like two or three minutes. Uh, I will go through it and explain it. I'm muting my freaking computer now. Okay, so it's uh, about a page long and it's not uh, gonna take me that long to read because it's it's very tiny line, tiny line, tiny line, tiny line. It's, it's not gonna take long. So I wrote, oh, did I just say? I wrote a poem. Yeah, <laughs> I attempted to write a poem. Um, I could have done something else, but, you know, I, I figure I'm generally okay with words, so uh, I decided to write a poem. And I don't really like wearing my glasses, but um, since I can't see without them, um, usually I would wear contacts, but, you know, I'm home contacts all the time while I'm at home. So, anyways, I'm rambling. I will get to my poem now that I wrote in the span of three minutes, attempting to describe my gender identity. Fire. Masculine female. Red. This is who I've always been. I've never been any other way. For as long as I can remember, I have been androgynous in my heart and in my soul. I am a superhero. Labels, identity, what is gender anyway? I cannot separate my gender from myself. I am a whole person. I am a whole being. Rock music, fire, red. They all mean the same thing to me. It's me. That's who I am. Fire, superhero, me. So, here's the deal with that. Okay, things like fire, um, red, um, superhero, fire superhero. Uh, so when I was a kid, I pretended that I was a superhero. And unlike most kids who pretend to be something like a princess or a prince or a warrior, whatever the heck you pretend, or a superhero, whatever you pretend to be, um, generally speaking, you pretend to be that for like a day and then you, or a few days and then you move on to something else. Well, not me. <clears throat> I pretended to be a superhero for uh, my entire childhood, basically. So, <laughs> uh, basically, yeah. So it uh, kind of stuck with me in um, as an identity and I, uh, I, pretended specifically that I was a fire superhero and so you know and then I pretended that I had a rival who was an ice superhero and all this and there was like like so many imaginary friends that I had it was ridiculous um and I created this thing in my imaginary world called the superhero league of like superheroes having battles with each other and stuff and it you know and so it was kind of like Pokemon. So when Pokemon came around, this was before Pokemon, okay? So when Pokemon came around, then I was like, holy cow, I feel a connection to this. And then, um, and then I kind of took aspects from Pokemon into my whole superhero league stuff. So anyways, uh, so it, it kind of, um, stuck with me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, a kid anymore, but the whole idea behind it sort of stuck with me. Um, just the concepts that what I see as being a superhero, all that stuff kind of st stuck with me and red and fire and all these things, um, kind of, yeah, really still are labels that I, that resonate with me, um, as a person. Uh, 
so I don't know how to describe how they they resonate with me. They just do. It's just kind of they're just me. Um, as I mean, I explained before, like the metaphor that describes my identity, my gender identity. Uh, I came up with color, right? So I was thinking, okay, if a feminine female is pink and a masculine male is blue, then I'm red, right? So that's um, kind of how it's always been. And I'm wearing a red t-shirt today. How about that? I didn't do that on purpose, I swear. Um, anyway, so that's about all I can say for now. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. And uh, thank you to Jay for making a video this week. Um, I could have sung a song, but... Uh, I can't think of a specific song that totally describes my gender identity, so I figured I'd write up a little poem and give some variety to the topic this week. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's about it. Apparently there's no bonus question this week. I should have thought of one. I apologize. Whatever. We'll have one next week, week I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, Jay, you're an excellent singer, and uh, I hope to see more videos from people this week. I would love to see how artistic you can all be. It would be awesome, and I'm excited, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.